Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in the Binding of Isaac. Today we have a run coming from Flaming Uber, and uh, it's, it's given to me with two choices of name. I haven't decided which one yet. It's either going to be the Angelic Trinity or the Heavenly Tr Trinity. We have two Guardian Angels, Sacred Heart, Fate, and Blood of the Martyr. We are allowed to use the D6, and uh, we can only take boss items, no damage ups, we can also take shops and normal beggars, but nothing else. We're supposed to beat Satan, so, uh, you know, hopefully and probably that's going to be okay. I might not have normally done this run, but then, um, after the suggestion, another person was like, you've got to do this, it's so balanced, and I'm like, you know, I feel like this probably isn't all that balanced, because it seems pretty easy, but, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll be hard. I, hey, whatever. I don't know how great my damage is going to seem later, but it seems like it's going to be good enough for the end game now, especially since I'm going to Satan. So I don't know, man. I did turn off item rooms before the floor this time. Go figure. Uh, also, I have like this horrible neck pain right now, and I mean I know why. It was because uh, like it happened while I was working out, and then my back decided that it was going to just die on me, so I couldn't like move at all for a little while, and that was nice. But I'm sort of okay now, the neck still hurts, but it, uh, it works better. Which is better than nothing. So, uh, let's see. Today, I'm going to be uploading... Ah, uh, let's see, the other video is going to be Paranautical Activity. I decided it was about time I returned to that. Uh, Ratchet Deadlocked will return tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we can take boss items. And Squeezy's totally fine. Tears up, two soul hearts. That's going to be awesome for me. Meat is allowed, by the way. So that's, yeah, we're good for now. Uh, yes, Paranautical Activity today, Ratchet Deadlock tomorrow, and, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was doing recording tests today for uh, Terraria, and I've determined that that series is going to be in 1080p, because my computer seemed to be okay, uh, recording that. Do I want the range up or do I want to reroll it for something else? How is my range with low shot speed? I'll take it. Crazy as that is, I feel like I probably could have done much better on a reroll, but you know what? Too bad. So, like I was saying, that series will be 1080p unless the update doesn't run as well as the uh, current version, which, you know, I doubt that'll be the case, but we'll see. Current tests indicate the 1080p will be doable and awesome. So that's the plan. Man, I am in pain right now. I... Oh, man. I, I don't know. It's weird and it's unpleasant. Fighting Monstro. Monstro should be pretty easy. By the way, two Guardian Angels do not increase the speed of the orbitals twice, but rather it's as if we had one Guardian Angel and then one other thing. Meat. Definitely a take. We can't go to Devil or Angel Rooms, so I'm not even going to bother, and I am going to just get out of here. I assume that includes Krampus. Wow, that was an easy-to-find boss room. I still don't have enough money to go to the shop, so, I mean, I'm just going to fight the boss, of course. Ow, my neck. Uh, we can, in fact, take this cube of meat, so that'll be our third orbital, which will also rotate around this blocking enemy tiers and damaging any enemy it comes into contact with. It'll also stack with later cubes of meat, so that could be pretty good. Another devil room that we're just going to ignore. Alright, I'll keep exploring. You know, it'd be cool if you could have three cubes of meat that were all orbitals. So, like... Like I have two Guardian Angels right now, if they could all be cubes of meat, that'd be pretty sweet. And then, you know, like, the maybe you have an option or something silly like that where you could have all of them be orbitals, and then if you can exploit the game and get six of them, you could have three shooting cubes of meat with you. I think that would be cool. Probably also a little imbalanced, so uh, whatever. Either way, it's not happening, so it doesn't matter that much. Ow, my neck. Needless to say, I stopped working out for the day at that point when my neck decided to kill itself, so uh, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. I don't know if... I mean, I can take the Book of Revelations. That's totally fine. 
I just don't expect that I'll be getting the money to do so. So I likely just won't. <laughs> Easy enough. We do have three orbitals now, which is nice. Eh, eh, okay. And we're collecting keys that we never need. Also totally cool with me. Let's see what's in here. Nah. I mean, it could be worth it. Maybe. I'm just going to play this for a little while. Because we've got a bunch of health and some health laying around and stuff. Alright, now we can go get the Book of Revelations, or we can re-roll for hopefully the candle. Either way, uh, I'm re-rolling for the candle. Because it'll be more fun that way, and I don't like the Book of Revelations that much. I mean, it's just, it's it's slow. It's not bad, it's just whatever. Notched axe, that's good. See if we can build another re-roll. If not, well, I'm not actually that upset about what I just did, so, uh, you know. Ow. I need to get, like, a professional massage or something. That might be nice. But until then, uh, well, there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it for now. I'm gonna move the microphone up a bit. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm hopeless. Why don't I get another reroll if I do the challenge room? So I'll go to the challenge room and maybe I'll get something awesome otherwise as well. Whatever. Challenge room shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully we'll end up with more tears up soon, because firing really fast with Sacred Heart is awesome. That's how I won with Maggie for the first time, which wasn't on camera. That was before I was a YouTuber. So, uh, yeah, we have a reroll, which is the goal of that. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. And hopefully we'll pick up the candle and then ditch the D6 and it'll be great. Otherwise, well, it happens. Steam sale. Technically worth it, I guess. And I'll take this because it's almost like guaranteed that we'll end up with one more cent along the way. Let's be real. So, uh, yeah. Let's go to the next floor this time. I didn't skip a bunch of stuff for once. Oh my god, my neck. The angle that I have to look at my monitor is actually like just constant discomfort unfortunately oh well best I can do can't play you but I can kill you for no reason to increase our chance of getting deals with the devil and angel rooms that we can't use so why not see another coin so now we can go to the shop oh look another coin and we can get whatever the item is if we desire Hopefully it'll be the candle, because the candle's all I want. Ow. I just can't move when I do things right now. Wonder if that'll make paranautical activity prove very difficult. We'll see, I suppose. Well, yeah, we will. I'll see first, and then you'll see after. By some number of hours. Around 15. Maybe? Whatever. Anyway, if you haven't already... Uh, if you do challenge runs, make sure that you have my and No Face J's newest cheat table. The link is in the last, like, three descriptions of my Isaac videos. It's the best, literally the best cheat table that you can get. Because it has every sorting kind of way. It has an alphabetical one, and has a... It has the... Alphabetical, categorized, and a numerical one. And it also has a bunch of cheats that people don't normally use. So, it you should have it if you do cheat engine stuff. So, that's that. Alright, hollow. This one spawns boom flies. Shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. There we go. I really wish that there weren't all the rocks. Oh, god, you've changed directions on me. Oh, I'm glad I was still invincible there. Oh man, that was hectic. So we just lost most of our health. I didn't really plan for this in my um, stage of not actually planning. Darn it. I wanted to take a chance. I wanted to be... I wanted to tears up. And now I could get Pageant Boy, which I'm actually not going to take. 
Just a hint. But we might be able to build another reroll, hopefully, hopefully. If not, well, sometimes you lose. That's what you get when you reroll health ups, by the way. Don't do it. But it looks like, unless that's... Oh, it can't be a sacrifice room, because there was already a sacrifice room. So it looks like we'll get another reroll. Cool with me. Oh, fine. Don't die anytime soon. Yay! We can't go to the boss challenge room, unfortunately. Much as I might like to. Let's get out of here. Let's reroll pageant boy. And hope desperately for a tears up. Would be nice. What could it be? I could still look like an idiot, though. Probably will. Or a shot speed up. I'm not going to take a shot speed up. Gives me a tarot card as well. I don't really want it. So, yeah. Wow, the boss rooms. The whole not having item rooms thing is messing with where the boss rooms spawn. Because they normally wouldn't spawn here. There'd be some other end room, namely the item room. So that's interesting. Greed can't be in the shop because he was in the last one. Compass, I will just take outright. And I'll take this pill. And it is Balls of Steel, two soul hearts. Awesome. It's the depth, so we can't be fighting good old Mask of Infamy, which is all I really care about. You can't do the which the, you can't do the pro strat for Monster 2 on Gish. Gish gives us little Gish though, which is my favorite familiar. Because it shoots slowing tears, and uh, they're awesome, basically. I'm in a lot of pain. Nope, be careful. At least we have three orbitals. Uh, we can't even get screwed over and have to uh, pass up a cube of meat or anything. So we will get maybe a level two meat boy. I just wanted to see what was in there. And most likely, you know, not have to worry about it. Is there anything I want to do here? There, there isn't, because there's no other icon rooms. Whatever, I'm just going to leave. Well, there's a mini boss, so we know that Greed is not, in fact, in the shop. Oh, get out of my face. You jerk. Again, with the slowing tears, like I said. Let's go into the shoop. Ladder is worthless. Coin purse. Well, we know that Balls of Steel exists, but I think I'm going to keep re-rolling there. So that I can end up with a candle, which is uh, pretty much the best space bar item in the game. D6 is as well, but, you know, best offensive. And arguably the best in general, but... I think that there are pretty clear reasons why the D6 might be better, and probably is. Let's see what this pill is. Bombs are key. That didn't really do much, so uh, it's cool with me. I was kind of expecting health down, so uh, I think that was the better alternative in general. I will probably fight the mini boss unless it's uh, greed in a secret room, in which case it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was close. Yeah, our damage, I don't know, I think that this is a little more powerful than was anticipated, but I was told by extra persons that I had to do it. So, uh, yeah, that's what you get. Alright, candle, there we go. I'm done with you, D6, goodbye. Now I'm just gonna head for the boss, like, straight away. Yeah, definitely. With a detour for the mini-boss, if... And it is a normal mini boss, it seems. I don't need that health. Yay! Candle does that, recharges in three seconds. Or one and a half seconds, or two seconds. It's just it recharges within the room very quickly. The sun. Bombs are key, right? Yeah. Alright, the sun's a really good tarot card. Full health, 100 damage to every enemy in the room. And full map. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. We'll save that for the full health aspect of it. And here's the boss, pretty much. Let's get the candle doing its thing. That made that room pretty easy. The candle is pretty broken against Mom, because watch that. You can damage the doors when they're not supposed to be damageable. And it does a ton of damage, so uh, game over. Goodbye. You know, you are the weakest link. And that's that. We get box. Okay. One of each type of pickup. The tower doesn't really help us. We already have the Polaroid. We don't want the rusted key. Uh, we don't know what this is. Health up. Wow, who saw that coming? I didn't. Let's go. We did bring the sun, so that's that's good. That is, in fact, the secret room rather than a normal mini-boss room. Although, I don't know if normal mini-boss rooms spawn on the womb. 
Because, like, you can have rooms where it's like, oh, Isaac versus um, Gluttony or something, but I think that those just kind of appear intermittently, and I don't know if they count as mini-boss rooms, even though you can get the mini-boss drops, of course. And I don't know uh, if there can be multiple. I assume that they're the singular mini-boss room and they can appear wherever for no good reason, basically. But then again, I'm probably just crazy making that up because I'm sure there are multiple situations where I've had more than one of those on a floor. So, I don't know. Someone must know. Now we fight Blastocyst, rare boss, honestly. Yeah, I don't think that this is quite as balanced as I was informed it would be. Just, just a thought. Coin purse. All right, fine. Since it came to us in a, in a thing here, two health up pills. All right, good game, Isaac. Well played. I'll see you later. Oh, tears down. That sucks. See what's in here just for fun. The Bible, see? Doesn't even matter. Ow. There's no way this is the right way. This will probably... Oh, ooh, ooh, there's a way. Where there's a will. And there's a will. If this is the right way, I will be astounded. It seems possible, but... Now it's the right way. It has to be, actually. I didn't expect that. Because, you know, usually... You see the layout that I saw at the start, and uh, that first room to the right will just be a dead end. And then you'll have to go, you know, up or down, or, you know, the other way, even. Another tower card, how interesting. Okay. So we're going to be fighting Mom's Heart. It lives. Uh, Got to be careful, because this is going to be... Remember, we're going to Shoal, since, you know, we're like... Angelic and whatnot. And I'm just going to avoid this leech and... Oh god, don't die! Okay, good job. Why am I shooting? Don't kill it. Uh, we're just going to abuse the candle's brokenness. Save me time and effort. Well, maybe not time, but effort. Could be time. Still, it can damage the heart. Oh, don't do it! There we go. Oh no, don't do it! Why didn't you go up, you fool? Thank you. I'm just trying to avoid killing that. Okay, now we should be okay to kill it. Yep, there we go. Repeated bombs. And that should be the good game. Remember, Shoal. Shoal Ahoy. No angel or devil room to go to Shoal the cool way, unfortunately. But away we go. Uh, this could be the right way, actually. Since it doesn't go directly. Because going directly, that doesn't happen in the later floors. Yeah, get it done, Candle. Good job. Oh, don't want that. I do have the Polaroid, so I can get the Polaroid Invincibility if I get hit a bunch. And then I can use the uh, Sun card to break the game. Not actually break the game. That'll just give me full health again. I don't think that there's going to be a problem with that, though. I don't think I'm going to need to use it for that function. Alright, so fortunately we have the candle, because otherwise I might not be able to deal with the Faceless Knights. Because they might be too fast for me. For my tears, that is. But then again, it looked like we might have been able to deal with it normally. Uh, let's see. Yeah, as I expected, I can damage war from wherever it last was. By throwing the candle there. Oh, I broke it because I did that. Okay. Well... Oh, that's interesting. It just happens right in front of me. No, it doesn't just happen right in front of me. It's okay. We'll find it eventually. Or we can bomb our way out. But we can, in fact, kill war. Uh, yeah, so just don't do what I did and you won't have this happen. Oh, it's moving. It moves as we move, sort of. So, uh, we'll, we'll kill it soon. One more, two more hits, maybe. Just keep swimming. Uh, did it go this way? It's somewhere. There we go. Get a pill. Tears down. You know, I think I'll not take that one. Yeah, oh god. Well then. That was an adventure. And it does look like we chose the right direction to the boss. Don't need to mess with that. 
Oh, bloodshot eyes are actually the worst enemies. Another reason that Shoal is probably harder than the Cathedral. Okay, so we wait about three, two, one, and then we place a bomb. And uh, that was really poorly done. I waited way too long. So uh, don't wait that long, and you shouldn't have that problem. Oh, God. Don't break this too quickly, because you can damage the statue, and then Satan's first form may or may not spawn with less health. Pretty sure it does. Uh, so let's try and kill it. Oh, let's let's try and kill it a little better. Okay, get out of my face, Fallen. See how much can we accomplish. Oh, that was interesting. Alright, let's kill the Fallen. The Batman, whatever you want to call him. He's not actually a Batman. Alright, so how does this look? That's pretty good. We don't want to kill Satan's second form too quickly, because that'd break the game. But I don't think that we even have the capability to kill it as quickly as is required, which is, like, literally the first foot. So I think we're okay. And again, the candle is game-breaking, because it's so good. Oh, we don't have the candle charge yet. All right, let's use the sun just because, and that was that. So please leave your custom challenge and suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Uh, that was a little easier than I was led to believe. But whatever, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.